Frog of War, good old, here we go. So the first thing to do is we need to understand what is actually happening on the screen. And it would seem that we have a foggy image that is covering the entirety of our world and we as a player are erasing parts of this image while walking around. And honestly, it is as simple as it sounds. Let's go ahead and make this thing. So the node setup for the scene is uh, we have a node 2D that is called Fog of War as the root of our scene. Ground tiles, which are just ground tiles. Prop tiles, which are just trees and houses and stuff like that. And the player, which is just a uh, character body 2D, collision shape and animated sprite with uh, some animations. <laughs> So we will start by adding a fog sprite, which is going to be a sprite 2D. Let's rename it to fog, come on, fo fog sprite and give it a unique name to be able to access it from the main script. And let's actually create our main script. I already did that, but uh, here we go. Actually, this is probably a bad idea because nobody will understand what is happening because I'm using NeoVim. Okay, I switch back to the Goda script editor. This is very embarrassing. Please don't click off the video. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to extend the script from node to D because our main node is a 2D node. Next, we're going to get ourselves a reference to our fog sprite, which is our sprite 2D, which is called literally fog sprite. Next, we're gonna get access to our ground ground tiles and then we'll be able to create our fog image which is uh, going to be just like so. This variable is very important. Now, let's make a ready function, which is going to run our generate fog function that we are going to make right now. And uh, the first thing we need to figure out is uh, our world dimensions, because we're going to be covering the entire world with fog picture, okay? And we need to figure out the dimensions of this picture. So let's call this world dimensions. And it is going to be literally ground tile size, which we're going to get by accessing the get used rect thing function, calling size, and then multiply it by ground tiles, tile set, tile size. Okay, so what is happening here is we're getting the size of the tile set in tiles. Okay, so if you have a tile set, 64 tiles by 64 tiles, basically have a square, it's going to return you a vector 64, 64. But we don't need that. We need this in pixels, not in tiles. So that's why we're multiplying by the tile size, which is in my case, 16 by 16. So I will get the exact world dimensions in pixels. Next part is going to be figuring out the world position, which is going to be kind of the same as the world dimensions, because we will uh, use the rect of our tile set, and instead of the size, we will get the position. And then again, we will convert it into pixels by multiplying it with a tile, tile size. Here we go. The next part is actually creating the image, which is done very easily by calling image create. And as you can see in here, the parameters of this function is width and height of the image we want to create, the mip maps thing, and the format. So let's get the width of the world, which is uh, x of the world dimension. Let's get the height of the world, which is y. Now, we will not be using mip maps. And let's give this thing a format, which needs to be some kind of RBG, RGBA format of some sort. Ooh. So anything with just simple RGBA will do. So any of these Will work okay so let's pick this one the next part is going to be we need to fill this image with a color and it's done simply by saying fog image dot fill and here we're gonna put some kind of color which is going to be in this example a black now we need to convert this image to a texture and texture is the thing that is going to be sent to gpu by Godot and actually rendered. To do that, we're gonna say fog texture is going to be equal to image texture dot create from image and just simply fog image. And now the final part of this entire thing, kind of, we're gonna have to set this fog sprite texture to our fog texture. And hopefully by this time it is going to work. But before we do anything, we need to attach the script to our fog of war node. Okay, so let's go. 
and here we go as you can see it doesn't work well actually it does work but the fuck is offset because the origin of the sprite 2d is in the center so what we need to do is we need to check this off this offset centered thing on the fog sprite and now here we go our entire screen is black now let's make player erase parts of this image. And to do that, we need to go to our player and add another sprite to D and uh, call it something like vision sprite. Give it a unique name so we're going to be able to get the access to it from the player script, which is uh, what we're going to do right now. Vision sprite sprite to D. That's basically all we need to do with the player script. Now let's go back to our Fog of War main script and uh, get the access to our player, which is in here. Now we need to create a vision image variable, which is also going to be an image. And in our generate fog function, we're going to get uh, assigned this vision image to a uh, player vision sprite texture get image like that and we're doing that because we need to convert our vision image into the same format as our fog image so let's do the, just that format r g b a h here we go oh and also we have not created any uh, texture for our vision sprite so let's go to the vision sprite in our player and uh, click on the texture thing and in here click on a new gradient texture 2d then we're gonna go and uh, open up the fill uh, this drop down situation and here select the radio now we're gonna grab these things around and uh, move them around as well and create some kind of a circle shape and click on this gradient reverse the colors like so and grab this one move it in just like that make sure it's centered by uh, changing this from thing to x and y to 0505 and uh, here we're gonna click on this square and make this completely transparent but don't forget to raise it to white because otherwise it's going to be going from white to black to transparent now we have our vision texture so back in the main script let's create an update fog function that is going to be void and all it's going to do is going to blend fog image with a vision image so we're gonna do it by just simply saying fog image dot blend wrecked okay and as you can see there's three parameters that it takes in the image itself that is going to be blending the uh, rect of that image and the destination which is basically the position where it's going to be happening so the first argument of this function is going to be our uh, vision image the second one is going to be some kind of a rect of a vision image and the third one is going to be for now let's just say player's global position so let's create this uh, vision rect thing is going to be rect2 uh, with a position of vector to zero and the size of vision image dot get size now let's put this bad boy in here vision rect and then our player dot global position just like so then what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to convert this fog image into a fog texture by just saying image texture create from image fog image and then we're gonna fog sprite dot texture equals fog texture and just like that we got ourselves a working thing we got our vision image and our fog image blended together. Actually, to make it more interesting, let's update the fog with the player movement. Back to our fog of war script. Let's create a uh, func process function. Okay, and uh, if player dot velocity dot length, let's just update, 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 update fog. Let's go. And look at this. We're moving around. We're doing things just like so very nice now it's time for some shaders so back in the editor click on the fox sprite click on the material here on the material again and the new shader material in the shader new shader fog of war name is okay create and shader editor click on this guy and here we are the shader is going to be extremely simple. All we are going to do is we need to delete this vertex function and uh, grab our texture, which is going to be done by doing this. 
texture and our UV and then setting the alpha of this texture I mean subtracting the uh, basically the red channel of our texture from our alpha channel of the texture and then setting the color of our thing to this texture and just like that take a look here we go we're doing this we're erasing we're making a fog. As you can see, we have uh, some weird offset going on in here. It is easily solvable. Basically what is happening is that the vision texture is uh, offset and it needs to be offset back by half of its size. So let's go back to here in our update fog function and subtract our vision uh, image dot get size, oh, get size divided by two and we need to transform this into vector 2 otherwise it is not gonna work what the heck am i just am i pressing hello there we go and here we are now to make it look a little bit more pixelated and low resolution we're going to scale the fog image down and then up again so to do that we're going to create our export variable which is going to be called fog pixelation it is going to be an integer and for starters it's going to be a 16 pixels big then we're gonna grab this world position and make it a global variable world oh world position and we're gonna make it vector 2 and we're just going to remove this world this var in here and then we're going to scale our world dimensions down by the fog pixelation so let's make a variable scaled dimensions and it's going to be world dimensions divided by fog pixelation now we will replace all of this stuff these world dimensions with these new scaled dimensions in the image create function scaled dimensions and then after we set the texture in here and the fog sprite we're going to uh, scale the fog sprite up by just multiplying its scale by the fog pixelation so basically what is happening in here is that we are scaling the image down okay by the fog pixelation creating this image and then uh, setting this image to the texture and then scaling the texture up which gives the result of lower resolution now to use this thing somewhere because currently everything is going to be very messed up we need to basically apply this fog pixelation to every position and all the stuff like that so let's set these things let's put these things on separate lines because it's going to be easier to read and let's figure out so the player position the player position needs to be obviously divided by fog pixelation for them to have the same kind of point of reference then we need to utilize our world position let's do world position divided by fog pixelation and then minus our offset now we have a problem here that is invalid operands vector 2 and vector 2 i it is okay because this needs to be a vector 2 all right so at this point everything should work let's take a look and here we are and as you can see our vision image is way bigger than it used to be and in fact it is 16 times bigger so let's fix that in our main script in our generate fog function we're going to create a new variable that is going to be called vision scale and basically what is going to be it is going to be a vector 2 of our vision image get size and divided by fog pixelation okay and then we're gonna say vision image uh, resize and uh, let's put in a new size which is a vision scale x and vision scale y and honestly that should be that should be it let's see bam and look at this it is completely pixelated as it should be now let's make this fog look pretty so in our fog of war shader we're going to create a uniform sampler 2d we're gonna call it noise and we're gonna say repeat enable and then in our shader parameters we're gonna create a new noise texture and in here in the noise new fast noise then we're gonna click on the color ramp and create a new gradient and this gradient is going to simply go from white to a little bit kind of a pale blue and then in here we're gonna say vector for n which is going to be our noise texture just like so and then after we change the alpha of our texture we're gonna set the rgb value of our texture to our noise rgb and probably that's all there is to it bam here we go we got our fog
everybody. So now let's increase the size of our vision image and probably make it so it's not visible. Back in our player, click on the vision sprite and uh, go to the texture. Click on the texture if it's hidden. And here we're gonna increase the size. How about we're gonna go for 128 by 128. Or maybe something more interesting. How about 256 by 256? And then in uh, material of this vision sprite, let's create a new material, canvas item material, okay? And all we need to do is to set this to multiply so we cannot see it anymore. Let's run this thing again. And here we go. Now it's way bigger. Now you can play around with this fog pixelation variable and set it to something like 64, which is going to give an interesting result, just like so. Look at this. This is very interesting and pixelated. Oh, what is this? A subscribe button? No way! You should probably click it or something. I don't know. But that's gonna be it. So thank you everybody for watching and I hope it helps. You can close. You, 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 can, uh, you can click off the video now.